I am going to show you three really simple movements you can do to lower your post-meal blood sugar spikes instantly. This might be the most underrated blood sugar hack there is. What you do in the first 30 minutes after you eat can completely change how your body handles blood sugar. No extreme diets, no starvation, no secret potions to drink before your meal. Just simple movement that has been put to the test in randomized controlled trials to instantly lower post-meal blood sugar spikes, even if you just ate a lot of carbohydrates. So if your blood sugar spikes extremely high after you eat or you're waking up with high fasting blood sugar levels, watch this all the way through. Because by the end, you will know exactly what to do to eliminate that post-meal blood sugar roller coaster. Number one, LIS after eating. LIS stands for low intensity, steady state movement. You've heard me say before, take a walk after you eat. But here's what the science actually says. Researchers in this randomized crossover trial recruited 64 people living with type 2 diabetes and had everyone try two different exercise routines for 60 days each. In phase one of the study, the participants took a 15-minute walk after breakfast, after lunch, and after dinner. That added up to 45 minutes of total walking per day, split into three short sessions. In phase two of the study, the same participants took a 45-minute walk each morning, but this time before breakfast. So same total exercise time, just different timing. When researchers compared the two approaches, the difference was dramatic. The post-meal walkers had better blood sugar throughout the whole day, not just after eating, but also before bedtime and the morning after. Their A1C, which reflects their average blood sugar levels, dropped significantly more when they walked after breakfast, lunch, and dinner compared to just once in the morning. In simple terms, spreading out short bursts of walking right after eating was more effective than walking at a random time of the day for one long session. It helped the body handle glucose in real time, keeping levels more stable and preventing those huge post-meal spikes that drive insulin resistance. The takeaway of this study is powerful. When you move, matters as much as how much you move. 15 minutes of light walking right after meals outperforms 45 minutes of walking at a random time of the day when it comes to lowering blood sugar levels in people living with type 2 diabetes. So why does this even work? Well, your muscles pull a lot of glucose out of the bloodstream when you activate them. It's called contraction-mediated glucose uptake. Basically, your muscles turn into sponges for sugar. So here's my challenge for you. Next time that you finish eating, set a timer for 10 to 15 minutes, put your walking shoes on, and go on a brisk walk. Again, it's not about the pace, it's about the timing. Start by doing it once or twice a day. Do it after lunch and dinner, and you'll start noticing more stable energy and better blood sugar levels. Now, if you cannot go on a walk right after eating, then this next hack is going to do wonders for you. Number two, the seated soleus push-up. Now, this one blew my mind because it works while you are sitting down. In this pilot study, researchers tested a simple seated movement known as the soleus push-up in people living with prediabetes to see if it could help lower their post-meal blood sugar levels. To test this, participants drank a glucose solution twice once while they were sitting still and once while doing slow heel races to activate the soleus muscle in their calves. The results were impressive. Doing soleus push-ups reduced post-meal blood sugar spikes by up to 32% compared to sitting. So why does this happen? Well, the soleus muscle 
burns glucose very efficiently. Even while you're sitting down, without needing the help of insulin to pull glucose away from the bloodstream. It's a small study, but it shows how even light movement done right after eating can have impressive positive effects on lowering your blood sugar levels. So how can you do this at home? The Solus push-up is basically a seated heel raise. Keep your feet flat, raise your heels up and down, while keeping your toes on the ground. Now, here's the thing. This movement is a powerful blood sugar hack, but there's one caveat that most people miss. In the actual study, the participants did the Solius push-up for 120 minutes straight. That's two full hours of constant heel races. So if you come across one of those Instagram videos telling you about the Solius push-up, don't let anyone fool you thinking that you just have to do this a few minutes to get the same results. On the bright side, it's pretty easy to do the Solius push-ups while you're sitting down, even for two hours straight while you're working. It's low impact, joint friendly, and a smart way to keep your metabolism engaged even while you're sitting. Now, if you have some stairs around you, you're going to love this next hack. Number three. The three minute stair hack. If you want something quick that truly moves the needle, try this. In this randomized crossover trial, researchers recruited adults who ate a meal and then either sat quietly or climbed stairs up and down for one, three, or 10 minutes immediately after eating. The results were impressive. Just one minute lowered blood sugar levels by 14 milligrams per deciliter, but three minutes did even better, reducing glucose by almost 18 milligrams per deciliter and improving insulin sensitivity markers. So here's the takeaway. Activating large muscle groups through stair climbing right after eating creates a powerful glucose pull effect, making this short, simple movement an effective way to stabilize post-meal blood sugar spikes. By engaging large muscle groups like your quads, glutes, and calves all at once, you trigger a strong glucose uptake response, even in just a few minutes. So right after your next meal, do one to three minutes of stair climbing at an easy pace. It's not about intensity. It's about activating muscle fibers. You can do this in your home, in your office building, or anywhere where you find stairs. To recap, here is the simple formula. Walk after your meals for 10 to 15 minutes. Move while seated with soleus push-ups if you cannot walk. Or climb a few flights of stairs if you are short on time. These are small actions, but they make a massive impact. Because every time you move after eating, you train your body to use glucose more effectively, reducing insulin resistance over time. Pair this with high fiber, plant forward meals and consistent training, and you'll start seeing your numbers drop without meds, without starvation, or cutting carbohydrates. Comment guide below this video and I'll send you our ultimate guide to lower fasting blood sugar levels with three seven-day meal plans to choose from. It's free. Comment guide below. If you found this helpful, please give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and share this with someone who might need help lowering their blood sugar levels so we can reach as many people as possible. You've got this. Stay consistent and see you in the next video.